Um, he'll probably tell you more about it. There will be lots of interesting slides. Yeah. So, Is it for safety? Uh, so I've got one, one to top my mind. Yeah. And obviously he's got it as an e-book, so you can buy it on Kindle. And uh, also Dan will talk about uh, some interesting technological development for negentropic fields and the device called uh, Verify and maybe the, some of the apps that uh, you have to develop, the iThrive and so on. Okay. Yes, thank you. I want to really particularly thank you, Jan, and thank you for inviting me to speak at your science and medical conference. Just while we have the camera on here to show you the, the three-dimensional model that we will be discussing, it's a stellated dodeca ecosa in 3D infinite nesting, which we, have, we believe we've proven is the radii of hydrogen and the electrical geometry of what is called a fractal field. And yes, as Jan mentioned, this lecture is about my new book and the title of the lecture, Origin of Biologic Negentropy, Geometric Origin of Biologic Negentropy, Fractal Conjugate Space and Time, Cause of Negentropy, Gravity, and Perception. And the equation that we will be discussing is on the cover, the wave shape, which begins with the Planck sphere, Planck length and time, times integer exponents of golden ratio. So now with that little intro from this camera, I'm going to do a share screen here and put the little PowerPoint on. It's, it's quite possible we'll lose the connection during, um, the, um, during your talk uh, because it's pretty uh, broken here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me know. Can, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Good, good. So this, this is the origin of biologic negentropy, and the, the book and materials are available at the websites here, fractalfield.com, therify.net, implosiongroup.com. And uh, we're going to talk also with special thanks to Jan Sisek here about iThrive.com and how we measure this negentropic caduceus zero point in the iOS biofeedback, the iThrive, which we measure by measuring the low frequency harmonics in the spine liquid pump with the heart rate variability into the iPhone and iPad. So, uh, can, I stop you? can I stop you, Dan, because we don't see the big screen. We need to press... F5 on your mic, maybe, so we can have the whole screen. Uh huh. Um, can do you see my do you see my screen there? It says I'm sharing. It's just a small perversion. Maybe if you opened up the window for the Skype on your computer, there is that. Um, are, are you seeing the, uh, the, the, the screen there? Well, that's, that's better. That's better. Thank you. Do, you. do you see the screen now? Yeah. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. Oh, oh you'll go back to the... Sorry. Okay. Let, maybe you want this full screen like that. Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, it is our excitement to be with you as the title of your conference is Convergent Evolution Attractors uh, because we believe that the concept of the grand attractor is precisely what the phase conjugate fractal point is in wave mechanics and that's what makes it centripetal, negentropic, and self-organizing. So the, this is, first of all you ask what is phase conjugation. This is a picture that in optics when you phase conjugate you take four lasers like the picture on top and you have the meat in what is effectively a cube called four-wave mixing in laser optics where it is well known and proven that phase conjugation in laser optics produces neg entropy. And this is a picture of what it looks like. We call it pine cones kissing noses. But now we have actually put dimensions to the actual wave shape here and extended the concept of neg entropy to broader spectrum, not just optical but magnetic and in plasma as you're about to see. So this is, these are pictures of how phase conjugation happens. This is the visual pine cones kissing noses. So this is the essential hypothesis that I believe we're having, we'll be presenting the proof here, that neg entropy, that is self-organization in general, and centripetal forces like gravity, life, consciousness, and color are caused by golden ratio electrical phase conjugation, which is precise, 
charge collapse or implosion exactly to the dimension of the Planck sphere, Planck length and time. The technical articles with the references and the physics equations are the two links, fractalfield.com slash conjugate gravity and fractalfield.com slash conjugate perception. So the evidence. Neg entropy and self-organization is well proven in phase conjugate optics. One. Two. We prove by new equations that golden ratio perfects constructive charge interference and therefore compression and therefore phase conjugation. New wave equations. Those equations are at this link, fractalfield.com slash mathematics, uh, mathematics of fusion. So essentially golden ratio is more than just beauty. It is, in fact, the definition of constructive interference and therefore implosion centripetal forces. So this is the electrical engineering of the golden ratio called phase conjugation. And then I developed extensive new proof that this phase conjugate model by precise integer golden ratio exponents of Planck length and time, it predicts here, it predicts <clears throat> the multiple exact radii of hydrogen it predicts the exact only two frequencies with motorized photosynthesis. Again, Planck length and time times integer exponents of golden ratio, my new equation for the origin of fractal field and neg entropy. The equation further pre predicts the brain wave frequency cascade of peak perception and bliss, literally a phase conjugate model of perception. It predicts virtually exactly the duration of the Earth year and the Venus year, it predicts the exact frequencies Priori and Rauch are used to heal, and the Priori device will now, is now our Therify.net plasma invention using exactly and only this equation to produce rejuvenation. It, produce, it predicts the exact geometry and frequency used to create commercially proven life-giving bioactive fields. You can see that at bioactivefield.com. And further then on the bottom right here on the bottom, you see the equation also predicts the LF and HF frequencies of heart rate variability. And the LF frequency near 0.1 hertz is also the Mayer wave, the pressure wave, the natural resonance of the blood pressure system of the body. These frequencies are exactly predicted by my equation. So this is showing my equation, my new equation for the radii of hydrogen. Again, Planck length and time times exponents of golden ratio, proving for the first time how and why hydrogen is fractal, why it's implosive, and why Brown's gas and hydrogen gas can be negentropic and implosive. This is my equation for the frequencies of photosynthesis. On the right you see the only two frequencies that allow photosynthesis to happen, the purple and the orange. Purple at 427 nanometer, which is Planck length times golden ratio exactly to the 136 power, and the orange is Planck length times golden ratio to the 137 power. Integer exponents of golden ratio predict the frequencies and wavelengths of implosive non-destructive charge collapse, which defines negentropy. So photosynthesis is negentropic because it is caused by negentropic charge collapse. Note that the frequency exactly in between there, green, is poisonous to photosynthesis, and that's why you see green with every living plant, because that's what it cannot absorb, because it is opposite to conjugate. On the left here, you see um, the physics of the geometric origin of color, and this may be a bit too esoteric or too detailed of physics for this conversation, but in summary, the octave of wavelength that, that it predicts the spectrum of color from red to ultra red predicts a 0 to 180 degree tilt of the photon as a torus. And if you extrapolate exactly the degrees of tilt which cause each of the primary colors, you see on the bottom there, 45, 90, 135, 180, the cubic angles, 90 degrees, for example, being green, which we now know is destructive interference and therefore poisonous to life. But notice that yellow and blue are 63 and 117 degrees, which turn out to be the dodeca face angles, which is to say precisely phase conjugate. We'll explain more. <clears throat> so notice here on the top right that the Venus year and the Earth year are exactly Planck length and Planck time times golden ratio integer exponents. That's what makes them negentropic. It's part of the reason Gaia is negentropic. So this um, slide here is about using the platonic solids, which are golden ratio based, to model uh, nuclear hadron geometry and electron shell geometries to show that they're cell similar. And that's a bit beyond the scope of this conversation. So 
On the right here, let's see if it's better here. Uh, on the right here, you see my equation predicting the frequencies in blue, 2.78, 4.5, 7.39, 11.8 8 hertz, which are the exact frequencies, ELF frequencies, predicted by my equation for phase conjugate collapse. On the bottom, in green, bottom right, lower part, you see the exact frequencies of the power spectra of the Schumann resonance of the Earth. 3 hertz, 7.83, 14.3, and 20.8. You see that the Schumann resonance harmonics are very, very, very close to what is predicted by my equation to accomplish phase conjugate negentropic charge collapse. The physics of the reason that, as we know, is well proven that Gaia appears to be self-organizing. This is why. Notice also on the left top, the same frequencies predict the frequencies of brain waves at golden ratio, which I've spent half a lifetime measuring, that when the brain waves achieve those frequencies, you have the physics of bliss, ecstasy, and peak perception. On the right here, you see my equation. The low frequencies predicted by make the same equation, Planck times exponents of golden ratio and those numbers are in red here and on the top in green are the frequencies of the spine liquid pump the sacral cranial tidal waves notice that they're almost all precisely on the phase conjugate points so the spine liquid pump is phase conjugate negentropic charge collapse and the center one there 0 0.0959 hertz predicted by my equation is precisely the HRV, LF, peak, and the Mayer wave, the most fundamental natural resonance frequencies, fr frequency of the body blood pressure system. Here on the left, you see my equation predicting the wavelength of the adenosine diphosphate at 1.91 uh, angstroms times 10 to minus 35, which exactly fits my equation again, Planck times integer exponents of golden ratio, meaning ADP, ADP, the most fundamental energetic of all cellular metabolism, is precisely phase conjugate negentropic charge collapse. And if you build that wave shape in 3D, you get a stellated dodecahedron, the model we just showed you, which we see now on top is the known agreed uh, symmetry of the arrangement of masses in the universe per Nature magazine. So the Nature magazine said the universe is dodeca, and the bottom you see that New Scientist magazine said the universe is fractal. We say the 3D fractality of phase conjugation is the perfect fractal, and therefore the masses of the universe are arranged that way in order to stabilize gravity, non-destructive charge collapse. So here, this is just a, uh, some information that we've uh, assembled. Uh, it's my earlier work on applying this golden ratio to the electrical geometry of DNA. Notice that it, the geometry of the a helix that is DNA, a dodeca ratchet, has golden ratio uh, is the vertical increment of turn and golden ratio squared is the horizontal increment of turn and golden ratio cubed is the radius of turn of the dodeca you ratchet down a helix to model exactly the nodal array that is DNA which obviously introduces the idea of phase conjugation in DNA. Note, again, press beyond the scope here, but on the bottom right, you have the centic wave shape for love as published in the physics of emotion, uh, Manfred Klein centics. So note that the pr pressure maxima in the touch that says love in the physics of emotion and music per Manfred Klein produces a wave shape with a pressure maxima at 0.618 golden ratio, meaning love is the grand attractor, it's implosive. <laughs> We have more on that. It's goldenmean.info slash touch. So here is more. Uh, you see that the hydrogen bond here at the, at the center of every DNA ladder rung is now we know fractal. And then that hydrogen bond is arrayed here in the center of the, of the helical helix that is DNA. That's the zipper which implodes to form a soul. And it implodes when it's embedded in this long wave. And all the pictures are at this web link, goldenmean.info slash DNA manifesto. So basically, What's been measured at my suggestion by Glenn Ryan was that this tendency of DNA to recursively braid, embed, and uh, implode by coherent recursive braiding is measurably responsive specifically to the onset of coherence in the EKG, and I am credited in the literature with inventing the concept of heart coherence because I invented how it's measured, the Sepstrom second and third order power spectra, 
we use in the iThrive.com, we'll see more of in a minute. So the, the responsive DNA to the bliss moment is a phonon geometry that induces a phase conjugate implosive braid. And you see more here on the right, a mic photomicrograph of, of DNA's recursive braiding thickening eventually into a torus. And that's a, a, sort of the thread within the string, within the rope, within the fat rope. That braiding algorithm creates phase coherence between the long wave and the short wave, which is phase conjugate and therefore negentropic and implosive. And that whole metaphor of how the short wave embeds in the long wave is the physics of Feng Shui, and we've taught the physics of Feng Shui for many years, and the physics of heart rate variability. Your heart rates a wave, your heart your heart beats a wave, your heart rates a wave, your breath is a wave, and then your day is a wave, and then your year is a wave, and then your galaxy is a wave. And if the short wave is in phase with the longer wave, then it's constructive interference, perfected embedding, all optimized by golden ratio, hence fractality. And that's what we measure again with the i I'm going a little fast here because we only have a few minutes, but I thought it would be fun. I wanted to show here, this is another scientist, Steve Lehar, a friend who has a detailed model of perception called a phase conjugate mirror principle of perception that perception is caused by phase conjugation I'm not the first one to say it and specifically in his model he calls it a bounce back reverse grass fire algorithm which recount, accounts for the ability to uh, perceive boundary conditions in advance which is to say to self-organize to a center point so the phase conjugate bounce back literally he calls it a reverse grass fire. It's literally four-wave mixing, a cube, which is, in his description, the reason phase conjugation causes perception. Another example from the Russian literature here, we have from Ernest Moldyshev's famous book. Um, you see that the geometry of the positions of the eyes on the right tells you if a person is either strong-willed, a coward, whether he has pure intention or good, or on the bottom is nasty. You simply draw the orientation of the two pairs of cones and check the symmetry between the two pairs of cones that are the eyes to check to see if this, this person has the possibility of pure intention. This is in detail analyzed in the Russian literature and now we know why because pure intention is literally the sorting, self-sorting into phase discipline which happens in the presence of phase conjugation. So next I will just present a few little images from the iThrive here, the software environment that Jan Sisek here is helping us to distribute. This is from iThrive.com. We have four different input transducers. Uh, we, we display the breath harmonic, the musical, har musical key signature. We display the amount of coherence in the heart. So this is a display of the heart rate variability, all with these four transducers, wireless Bluetooth to the iPhone, iPad, iOS. And you see the third order spectrum analysis here which I pioneered along with Patrick here to measure internal phase coherence in the heart and we now know that it literally measures pure intention that heart coherence display actually indicates whether you're focused and therefore a shareable wave. And we're going to say more about the center picture here how we measure stress which is the focus of the new iThrive corporate which is a, th a stress analyzer and, uh, and then on the right it, how we measure the musical key signature of the heart and correlate that uh, for the eye thrive chakras. So here's how we analyze stress. First, long-term resting heart rate. Two, a, a decrease in overall heart coherence will indicate stress. Three, most importantly, stress is, a, is indicated by a loss of resting phase lock between the internal blood pressure resonance versus the internal heart voltage peak. And that's indicated in the top, top right center of that picture. The percent time that you're in phase which is literally when your body's electrical fluids are in resonance <laughs> with your body's electricity. It's very simple. And you measure that phase relationship and you measure stress. And Bentoff called it, he said, Kundalini is your when you ring like a can of peaches. <laughs> so the psychophysiology of Kundalini as a measure of stress is, it actually uh, applies to the way we do it with the iPhone iThrive here. So here's how we measure the, the blood pressure wave versus the, uh, the heart rate variability. That, the heart rate variability in, in yellow, we take the power spectrum. But the longer wave there, the wave on the wave, is the blood pressure wave. And we take the frequency signature of that. And that's what we check for phase lock, phase discipline, phase embedding. 
This is Ben Toff, my, my teacher. I worked with him for years in the psychophysiology of Kundalini. Here is his slide demonstrating the phase. He measured this with capacitive accelerometrics, much more expensive, to measure the phase lock between the body's electrical voltage versus the, the body's natural liquid resonance, like a can of peaches, as he would say. And this is the physiology of Kundalini because that in, uh, enhanced resonance of perfect re re relaxation is the conductivity mechanism of Kundalini. And here again is the slide of those low frequencies of the spine liquid pump we just talked about being exactly a phase conjugate pump wave. Interestingly, the ringing heard in the uh, ears of meditators, uh, are, which we now know is uh, this phonon geometry, actually turns out to fit my equation as well, and Ben talked to the psychophysiology of that. So this is more about the iThrive application here. We're measuring the stages of deep sleep. If you don't get access to deep sleep, as any Star Trek fan knows, everybody gets grouchy. <laughs> so getting access to deep sleep is measurable, and here's how we do it with the iThrive. It's a powerful tool. Here is how we display the musical key signature of the heart, which is, in the literature of science, documented to correlate to which gland is most triggered, bottom right, and you can actually see your glands, your chakras light up in sequence with the breath coherence training. Really fun, I thrive chakras. Jan can tell you more about it. Is everyone still there? Can you hear me okay? Am I talking too fast? So, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish here describing the proof that my theory of negentropy is correct. I took exactly those frequencies and applied them with precise 180 degree phase discipline across phase conjugate optical noble gas plasma at a half million volts through a bifiller Tesla tube in a $25,000 system called Therify.net which is in about 12 to 15 countries and it's a global sensation. It's a runaway commercial success. It works. We eliminate pain, localized pain, within about five to ten minutes. We can create bliss in most people who try it. And long-term in chronic pain, we're able to help most people in, say, five to ten sessions, three to five minutes a day for five to ten days. And there are many other stories where we're able to help people with vision, we're able to restore circulation. And the, uh, in several cases, we have uh, original anecdotal results here showing we've helped people with cancer and other uh, very serious problems. Uh, and based on this device is based on Priory, who is famous in France, healed thousands of cancers as proved by the French government. I discovered that my equation predicted the frequencies that Priory used, and thus then when we knew the principle of phase conjugate negentropy, we were able to build this technology, Therify.net. The uh, the logo for the Therify.net is from the walls on the uh, Egyptian cartouche, where you see the two plasma tube inhabited by a phase conjugate uh, field in the center, which is exactly how our plasma tubes work. So we do not think that these were light bulbs in Egypt. No, we think this is how you use a voltage triggering a plasma to create a negentropy time reverse phase conjugate field called raising a shem unto the Lord. And that time reversal, as you know, Zachariah Sitchin said, shem means highward firestone, which came to be the altar in the church, means that the definition of a shem, as in chemistry, alchemy, scheme, and schematic, is in fact a bioactive time reverse rejuvenation field. We don't have time to explain here, but actually time reversal is well known in phase conjugate optics, and we claim that's what we're doing. Note, you can only time reverse back to increased order, called negentropy. You cannot time reverse uh, uh, st uh, good steel back to rusted steel, but you can time reverse rusted steel back to unrusted steel. So you can only time reverse to increased order. It's fundamental. So this is just showing the frequencies here that Priory and Lakowski and uh, to some extent uh, Tesla used uh, in the 310, 32 hertz. And on the top you see the frequencies predicted by my equation. So my equation was the first to explain why those devices worked. Everybody was healed in Tesla's high voltage, and so Lakowski ran with it, and then Priory ran with it, and now I have discovered the principle, which is called phase conjugate negentropy, and we were very successful. This is Lakowski's oscillator, which is well known to do something similar to what we do with Therify, except we are much more powerful and much faster, but the concept is similar. He was, Lakowski was using a golden ratio spark oscillator. By adding the, the half million volts into the optic 
optical phase conjugate noble gas plasma, we make our phase conjugation much more broad spectral, which is why we are more powerful. Again, the equation we used is the same equation from the cover of my book. So the reason that these systems are self-organizing is because their phase conjugate implosive charge collapse. At the Planck sphere, perfected charge distribution is what allows the fractal field to be literally a communication device. Uh, at a deeper level, the phase conjugation causes what causes what's called the longitudinal EMF wave, incorrectly called scalar or torsional, and that is known to be superluminal and can store flame at a distance. Here we're showing the physics principle behind Agni Hotra, the alignment of the, uh, the living plasma flame, flame at the exact 90 degree angle of sunrise, sunset, creates a phase conjugate broad spectral plasma, which is the reason Agni Hotra creates fertilization and healing. These are some more of the slides behind the Priory device, many of which we've talked about. And this is what we're talking about, but the Shem stone. This is just talking about the physics of cancer, that the ability of the long wave of the incoming food to be converted to the short wave, which is the ultraviolet high quality UV light, which motorizes the cell metabolism, that that's a Clusius cascade called phase conjugation. And the reason that cancer developed is there's no way out for the high frequency ultraviolet light, the sex juice of the cell. So providing a propagation path for the high quality UV light, which triggers cell division, is part of what a phase conjugate optical field does. So that's sort of the physics why prior and we're successful with cancer, for example. So this is a picture of the Therify system. On the top right, you see the half million volt Tesla coil, the amplifier, the power supply. On the bottom, you see the uh, very expensive super custom Pyrex plasma tube with a complex noble gas mix with a half million volt precise uh, opposite phase conjugate wave and some more pictures here. So in the supine position, most people, many people feel a kind of a bliss euphoria experience. We now know why. We're entraining the brain waves, the precise recipe of bliss euphoria. We're entraining the spine liquid pump, the price, precise frequency recipe of sacral cranial zero point. In fact, our sacral cranial expert, Patrick Bucky, the programmer for iThrive, claims that we induce uh, a sacral cranial zero point uh, measurable effect in the spine liquid pump with the Therify rather consistently. On the right, we're actually helping someone who had a serious loss of circulation in their foot and pain and could barely walk. Within minutes, the pain was gone and they were up and walking. More pictures of the Therify in action, the plasma system. This is the Therify system now in South Africa being used to treat water. Uh, the energy density in this water after treatment is off the charts. The bottom center and bottom right plants were treated with a Therify before they were planted. Uh, on the, the one on the left was not. Again, more work being done with our Therify in South Africa. You know that it's proven that the function of Stonehenge was to cause seeds to grow, called a Shem field. So I see it's 634. Should we address questions or should I continue?